right now. True TV presents World's Dumbest Criminals. Don't let him get away. 20 more mind-bendingly moronic moments. No stopping me now. Crammed with cockeyed crooks. Let me out, damn it. Crazy confrontations. And comically uncoordinated cretins. Featuring the razor-sharp wit of our criminal experts. I heard some cuss words out of his mouth that I hadn't heard in, in, in a row anyway for a long time. And even more proof that crime and stupidity go hand in hand. Oh, yeah, now we're good. It's True TV presents World's Dumbest Criminals. Six. A man in a trench coat enters a gas station quick stop in Kennesaw, Georgia. He approaches the counter with a Red Bull and asks for a pack of cigarettes. Can I help you? Can I get a pack of cigarettes, please? Okay. As the clerk rings up the purchase, the thief hands over a note demanding money. What's this? His weapon? I have a gun. Check it out. A handgun. <laughs> what? A hand gun. All he does is put his arm in his armpit. I have a gun. Check it out. I don't have a gun, but... I gotta go. Let's go. Calm down. Hurry calm up. down. Come. Hurry up. Let's go. Don't shoot. This can't really hurt anybody unless you poke him in the eye. It's about all you can do with a fake gun is that. Poke him in the eye. Or the ribs. <laughs> and make him laugh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The cocky criminal gets $471 and then uses his weapon to wave goodbye. See you later, psych. Na, 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 na. I don't have a gun. Note to yourself, if you're robbing and you act like you have a gun, keep acting. See you later, psych, sucker. You got no gun. He got no gun, stop him! The shopkeeper was like, he said he had a gun, but he doesn't! Everybody was like, oh, he doesn't? Oh, let's take him. He got no gun, stop him! Get up, 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 he deserved to have his ass kicked. How you gonna rob us over with no gun? That's just some dumb ass See you later, psych. A bingo game is in progress at a social club in Sydney, Australia. B, seven, G, 26. Oh, blooming bingo. Oh, crikey. Two armed thugs enter, believing they've chosen the perfect target. Good day, everyone. This is a robbery. Get on the bleeding ground. Move, Granny. Until someone alerts the motorcycle enthusiasts gathered at the bar next door. Can you imagine being a couple of guys and all of a sudden the Hells Angels just bust through the door? So, dude, does God just hate me? It's like 60 bikers come flying in the place trying to rip your head off. It was like a good movie. <laughs> Biker gangs are not people who call the police. They will take matters into their own hands. And uh, usually what they take into their own hands are things like chairs, clubs, bricks, anything hard, metallic, or made of stone. The bingo players show the bikers where the perps are hiding. Rule of thumb, don't hide from bikers behind a bar. They are naturally drawn to bars. <laughs> the bikers escort the bingo bandits outside. <laughs> and just as they're about to get their cards permanently blacked out, the police arrive. That's the one time in life a criminal is happy to see the cops. I don't want anyone saying anything bad about bikers anymore. Just because, you know, they have no mufflers on their bikes, they're good guys and women. Blooming bingo! In Las Vegas, no one under 18 is allowed to enter an adult video store. Yo, man, where I found some nasty videos, man? Unless, of course, they have a gun. 
and are trying to rob the place. Dude, how do I do, my friend? Just stick out, fool. Get back. Okay, easy. Okay, okay, Move okay. Move man. Easy. Let me get that register. Okay, go. Go, it's fine. Go ahead. Go by me. That's fine. You know, when you're robbing somebody, you don't want to get so close to the clerk. Go by me. That's fine. The clerk was like, this fool standing right next to me. I can make him move right now. And go by me. That's fine. Go, go. Oh, not so fast, my friend. Are you a Everybody has that fantasy. When somebody says, give me your money, and all of a sudden, you turn into Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> well, you should size up the guy you're robbing first, because I know it's a suspect weighed about six grams soaking wet. Yeah. How do you like that? He takes this kid, and he heaves him over the counter. He slams him. The kid's totally stunned. Whoa, man, what happened? What's up with that? Police are on their way, my friend. But in the meantime, enjoy this spray in your eyes. What's up, man? He grabs his pepper spray and starts spraying the kid down. How you like that? It burns. <laughs> yes. Ooh, that pepper spray can sting. Stop making me, man. You're lucky the only thing you got sprayed with was pepper spray. Do you know some of the screwed up things they have in sex stores? How you like this personal lubricant, my friend? How about the little Spanish fly in your eye? Boy, he just leaves the gun there and runs out of the place, figures it's not worth it. It's all just not worth it. Don't f with somebody who runs a sex store. They will fight you. What's the clip? They sell dildos for a living. <laughs> they do not care if they die. It's burning your eyes? I hope so, you filthy person. Coming up. I need some cool cigarettes. Somebody get this man a smoke. Plus, happy song. Sad housewife. There is a human being out there that loves everybody. And later, cash register as toilet. It keep on coming, doesn't it? Plus, more insightful tidbits from our celebrity panel. The meat slicer alone is something very dangerous to be around naked, if you know what I mean. You could reduce your manlyhood when world's dumbest criminals continues the night shift at darren camp's supermarket in lancaster pennsylvania is typically slow but tonight there's a very special customer in the express lane can I get a pack of cools in a box? You got box, box of cools? This here? guy is totally naked. He should be shopping for clothes. When the clerk refuses to serve him, I need some cool cigarettes. The man appears to initiate a naked Nick fit. Want my cool cigarette? <laughs> Just another Saturday night running around, rubbing your junk on some produce. You know, normal stuff. I need my cool cigarette. He's throwing all over the place the whole time with his little yang yang hanging out. Going whack, 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 you know? I mean, oh. Who stuck my cigarettes in the back? Yeah, it must have taken balls to do that. <laughs> Odd. The meat slicer alone is something very dangerous to be around naked, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you could reduce your manlyhood. Following his rampage, the perp returns to the checkout line. You found them cool cigarettes in the box yet? Where the bagger offers him one of his own cigarettes. Thank you very much. But he doesn't have a light. Could I get a lap, man? And leave my lap! Finally, cops arrive and subdue the nude dude. I want a light! He was charged with open lewdness and public drunkenness. But he finally did get to enjoy that smoke. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Ma'am, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used. This I Florida will... cop is determined that the driver he stopped is intoxicated. Exactly how did he determine this? You want to hear something? Yes, ma'am. Little Marine to do a Love you. No, listen. Get a marine thing you think get a marine to do. This is some weird <laughs> and she won't stop. Uh, love 
you. Where was she arrested in Twin Peaks? I love this time you. I will not ask the subject any more questions. It's like the teacher from Romper Room got drunk. You know what? Let me tell you something. I see Billy and I see Jimmy and I see skin of a rinky dinky dinky skin of a rinky do. I love you. We don't love you. I'm a f***ing housewife. What do you expect from me? You have the right to remain silent, ma'am. I love you. I'm a housewife. I love you. A dinky do. I love you. I went, that is the saddest woman in the world. I want you to know that there is a human being out there that loves everybody. The new season of Desperate Housewives is going to be good. There is a human being out there that loves everybody. The South songstress was taken to the county jail where all night, a lonesome refrain echoed throughout the cell block. Lights out! I love you. It's 2 a.m. in southern Florida, and this convenience store is locked up for the night. But then, through the roof, a visitor he jumps behind the counter and grabs the most valuable things he can find. <laughs> Five pornographic magazines. Somebody needs a girlfriend. All that stuff in there. And you're gonna grab $50 worth of porn magazines. Steal something valuable. You know what, steal the register. And then go buy some porn. Go on the internet. Don't you have a computer at home? How about your imagination? How about that? How about cable? I can understand dire straits to get fudge. I even understand dire straits to get a beer and some chewing tobacco. I can't quite understand such dire straits to get a porno magazine. And who breaks in through the roof? Oh, oh. What is this, Ocean's Eleven? You're an idiot. With his hands full of porno, the perverted perp then tries to kick his way out through the front door. Did he have a plan to get out or a plan to get off? He was ready to beat something. But he couldn't do it. He couldn't pull it off. Now, that's a guy who likes to do things the hard way, huh? I guess he's not anymore. This could go on all day, you know. <laughs> But during his attack on the door, the thief fails to notice one simple thing. This guy is so excited that he got the porn that he needed that he didn't even realize that all he had to do was just turn the knob on the lock on the front door and push the door open and leave. The blue bandit is picked up by police oh. as he finally tries to exit through the roof. The magazines are promptly confiscated. He's really, really smart. Mm -hmm. And horny. Oh, 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 oh. Louisiana police pull over a vehicle that has been weaving on the road. As a female passenger waits in the car, police question the driver. I'm still telling what happened. I'm a little bit upset because they think I'm at fault. You got the wrong. Oh, relax, relax. Yes, sir, yes. All that yelling is unnecessary. Uh, first of all, from this point on, police officers of America, when you pull someone over and they have no shirt, arrest them. Just start there. No shirt, no freedom. Yes, I was around. driving my friend home because she had too much to drink. I've had too much to drink, too. I'm definitely legally drunk, but she's four times the limit. I'm only three times the limit. That was his logic right there. I am Face. Here's my registration. I've been driving, I've been drinking, I've been all that. In the South, they have this thing. Instead of designated driver, it's who's the least drunk drives. Lock me up. <laughs> the cops take this handcuffed culprit into custody. But instead of staying in the back seat, he decides to hop in front and take the cruiser for a spin. Still drunk and still handcuffed. How do you get out of cuffs and steal 
a squad car. I can't drive my car with a tight shirt on. How did this guy, how did he? Oh, back up, I'll try this one again. <laughs> get it together, you gotta get it together. After another squad car puts the spin on our guy, his long night of spinning stories and taking cop cars for spins is mercifully over. Uh -oh. Coming up, clean up in aisle five. And later, one, two, three strikes, you're out. When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. Let's face it, firearms aren't easy to come by in England. Sorry, not allowed. But that still doesn't explain this desperate English robber's weapon of choice. Put your hands up, this is a robbery. I have a crossbow and you're being robbed. Who robs a store with a crossbow and you don't live in Sherwood Forest? I'm bloody serious, give me the money, man. This is pointy. Ooh, did he arrive on horseback? Do you have your minstrels and a squire in tow as well? Who is his uh, getaway driver, William Wallace? Freedom! This is what happens when you let these children play Dungeons and Dragons their whole life. Give me the bleeding money, sir. This is pointy. The crossbow is not the most effective weapon because it takes a lot of preparation. And hand-eye coordination. Here's the problem. You only got one shot. Oh. Uh, the shopkeep ducks, and he's like, oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, all right then. You know, I got an appointment I got to get to. You shoot an arrow at me? Are you crazy, my friend? Calm down, sir. Calm down. Calm down. And then a harem of women follow. It's like Alibaba's mansion back there. The bandit manages to escape from the shopkeeper and his family, but not without a good deal of shame. I guarantee you that that man lives in his mother's basement and he has never been laid. Crazy my friend. Easy does it, fellow. Easy does it, now. A Texas Ranger attempts to pull over this Trans Am. Pull the car over, sir. Suspecting the driver of being under the influence. Sir, please pull the car over. But the driver ignores the siren and flashing lights and continues until finally reaching his home. Hey, Dad, I'm going to pull over the seatbelt while I like to let me see a driver license, please. I'm from my house, man. This isn't tag. Home base doesn't count when the cops are chasing you. You been drinking today? I drank two beers. That's all I've had. Well, of course I've been drinking. How can you explain this T-shirt I'm wearing? Put any gum or anything in your mouth? I didn't ask about the gold. It's great when you're in your mid-30s and you need false teeth at that point. Then you know you're really healthy and taking good care of yourself. Slow. Man, I'm a smoker. That's as hard as I can. Like I told you, I'll blow anything I've had, anything you got. He says, I'll blow anything you got. That's solicitation where I come from, people. You're under arrest. So get your hands on the car. This guy does not want handcuffs on. What's even funnier is that this guy's neighbors are standing out here drinking beer watching this happen. Watching your neighbor being beaten by the police in that particular area is a spectator sport. All right, let's go see if we can help. <laughs> Tell him if you let me up my act right, Randy. No, no turn around. He's under arrest. He's pulling me up for bullshit. I'm in my own yard. No, turn around. It does take a village. It really does. Despite his struggle, the toothless perp is finally wrestled into a pair of handcuffs and taken away. I'll you up. I'll shoot you. you. Get off me.
It's business as usual in aisle five of this Florida grocery store. Until a woman appears to collapse in the condiment section. Another customer rushes to the woman's aid. Paramedics are called. And the woman is placed on a stretcher and rushed to a nearby hospital. The store manager reviews the security tape to see what could have caused the accident. And lo and behold... Acquiring olive oil bottle. Opening bottle. Pouring contents on floor. She opens a can of olive oil and spills it on the floor and then walks back into the aisle and falls. First of all, it wasn't even a good slip and fall. Slip and fall is backwards. <gasps> slip and fall ain't frontwards, stupid. You went down on all fours, and then your hand slipped out. She was like a folding chair. She went down in sections. You mean to tell me that you don't think that that's just a little bit suspicious, that there's a puddle of olive oil on the floor? What happened in the aisle before that? Yo, Vito, come on over here. What's up, Carmine? Let's have some olive oil. But first, for all the paisans that's not here. <laughs> What's with olive oil? Why not a banana peel? That's easier. It's the worst acting job ever. And then when somebody tried to pick her up, she does the, oh, I fell again. The slippery con artist is removed from the hospital and charged with fraud. The word con is OK. Artist. <laughs> Little pushing. Uh. It's a lively night in this Georgia police station. Clarence, just getting f***ed. You're under arrest for the offensive drop. Yeah. Thank you, Pacer. That control says to do. Fine. Nothing says I am completely sober, like a guy wearing a uh, shirt that's too small and shorts from 1972. I don't even want to listen to him. Thing you say, because everything you say is a piece of when his verbal assault fails, the dumb criminal at number 10 finally decides to just tune the officer out. I mean, oh my God, dude, that is, I, that's a hit song. For the record, I don't actually believe this is air guitar. If you look at his fingering, this is air banjo. There's nothing better than giving a concert to a captive audience. You little And they did, giving him plenty of time to perfect his technique. It's pretty funny, man. Um, he's my guitar hero. <laughs> Coming up, <laughs> whoopsie daisy, and the most creative cursing you'll ever hear. You flash eyed, bald headed, morphinite looking <laughs> turd. When the world's dumbest criminals continues. This woman is performing a field sobriety test for the Georgia State Police. Ma'am, want to walk heel to toe, feet together. Suffice it to say, it's not going well. Who's loaded? I'm loaded. Who's in a ditch? I'm in a ditch. Well. That's called failing a sobriety test. I guess someone wants nap time. Uh, ma'am, I'm still here. She just decided to lay there and relax, you know, chill out for a minute, you know, because she knew this was coming. I'm going to lay here and let you put the cuffs on me. Allow the cool cement to calm my nerves. 
think about my defense. <laughs> the cop was like, I am not picking you up. You get your ass up, and I am so not picking you up. If she was hot, she, he would have picked her up. Just leave her there. Put up some of those cones or flares around her so nobody hits her. Let her sleep it off easier than trying to haul her into the vehicle. A disgruntled worker has barricaded himself inside the office of a Georgia laundromat during an argument with his boss. I did clean the lint trap, bitch. I think he's mad because he had to work overtime that night. He's not going to be able to make it to the Molly Hatchet reunion tour. But it isn't dirty language that lands our enraged employee on the countdown. I put fabric softener in the dryer. Oh, what? That's a mistake? It's this. It's coming. Watch him. Watch him. Watch it. Shing. Over the cash register. Start peeing on the money. I love how he starts to do it and gets pee shy. Dry cleaning? How's this for dry, bitch? Come on. Come on, I'm so angry, I need to pee! Come on, here we go. You want to see this? This is called a phone to waterfall. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> How's this fabric softener? To get a better angle, he stood up on a stool so he could force his urine out with the same force, a fire hose delivers water on a fire. Yeah, all right, now we go. No stopping me now. Here you are. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that's a true golden shower. That pee went on for days. Yeah, it keep on coming, doesn't it? Yeah, here it comes. Your money's dirty now, isn't it? That money is now circulating. So hopefully I will get one of those 10 or 20 bucks that was urine soaked. Here it comes. Uh. After relieving his bladder and himself from a job, the peeing perp was arrested by police for public urination and vandalism. I'm not gonna lie, I threw up in my mouth a little. Being pulled over for DUI would upset any driver. How much you had to drink? I only had a couple. But probably not nearly as much as it upsets this man in Texas. You been arrested before, sir? Damn right. What for? None of you in this shoot. Alien. OK. The perp is placed in the squad car, while the officer calls to have the van impounded. I need a wrecker on 155. You don't need a damn wrecker. It cost me a lot of money to have my van towed. Maybe I could have somebody come get it. No, sir. If I was the cop, I would have been like, oh, God, you know what? You're right. Guys, why don't we all chip in and help this guy out? Why are you such a alien? You want to cost me that kind of money? Man, right there. You turd head son of a bitch. The guy said they were turd heads. I don't know about you, but I want to see what a turd head looks like. That sounds really, really interesting. He's so mad, he's run out of appropriate curse words. Unless he just happens to have Tourette's and nobody told the cops. You flash shot. I heard some cuss words out of his mouth that I hadn't heard in, in, in a row anyway for a long time. More for that looking bald-headed cop looking turd. He says morphodite. I don't even know what that is, and I have a college degree. You can say what you want, you're in the back of the cruiser. You're done, dude. Go have my band too. Yes, sir, sure am. I'll uncuff these damn cuffs. I'll beat you across this whole parking lot. Well, that's pretty good motivation not to let you out of the cuffs, isn't it? I don't want my band towed. I just made a note to myself after watching this. I'm not driving south of Philadelphia for the rest of my life.
I got respect for the law. I should have gone to Carolina and done a damn life. But you want to be a damn. This one's just funny. I like this one because he's an idiot. Guy is really angry because he got pulled over and decides to take it out on his pickup truck. And as so often the case, you only end up hurting yourself. Damn, dirt face. That's what you get, dumbass. Pickups don't move when you kick them. It's called the law of physics, jackass. The steel plate of a Ford pickup truck. One over that man. That guy broke his leg. They just should have put him out of his misery and just shot him like a horse right there. The pickup kicker limps off to jail, facing DUI and first degree lack of common sense charges. In one fell swoop, they didn't even have to do a sobriety test. Don't do the cop's job for them, make them work for it. Coming up. Butterfingers. What are you doing? And... Shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot me! Sit down. Shoot me. Whatever you say. When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. There are many ways this Oklahoma driver could avoid making his DUI stop worse than it already is. I want you to point your toe up and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002. What you're about to see isn't one of them. At this time, I'm placing you under arrest. for driving. How can you punch Barney five? Driving. He throws a roundhouse right. He could have sent it west in Union. It would have been quicker. Hey, that cop was bad, though, because he's like, yeah, what? Right there, hold it. If you're going to take a swing at a cop, don't run away afterwards. You got to finish the job, jackass. You know what ultimately stops him? Good police work? No, a stop sign. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. It's like a clown car. All these other morons come flying out of there. Again, it's like a village idiot convention, and this was like the van to get them there and back. And they all look the same. Four of them had a total IQ of a frog. Moral to this story is, if you're gonna punch anyone, be sure and hit them. That way you'll have a better chance in getting away. Good, huh? I like it. Okay, stop rolling. This convenience store in Albany, New York, has been held up a few times, but never like this. Yo, what's up? Put your hands up, man. Give me some money, man. It's a shotgun, man. I want some money. Give me some money, man. The guy walks in. He's got this gun that's like this big. I mean, he's not fooling around. This thing will tear you in half a cross range. At first, the robber seems a little nervous. Yo, what's up? Hold up. Hold up, I got a safety. Hold up, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, now we're good. Yeah, that's right. Then it becomes clear. Yeah, give me some of that ones. He's just a little dumb. That's good, give me five. What do you got, five, five? Give me some ten. What's that? Oh, yeah. Not somebody. Keep it covered, bud. Keep it covered. What's up? I got lots of money. Oh, now we're in business. Oh, yeah. Come on. Why you do that? Oh, man. He forgets the first rule of robbery. Not that I would know because I'm black. But the first rule is, keep your weapon. If the robber's going to set it down, I'm sure as hell going to take it. The thing was there for about three minutes. Anybody could have taken it. The guy getting a big gulp had a shot at it if he wanted it. No, no I'm, I'm good. I would just shoot myself if I went into to rob a store and an unarmed guy just took my shotgun. The thief appears to flee the scene. But moments later. You know, I second thought I need that gun back. It's got my fingerprints all over it, dude. No, he didn't. Now he want to come back for his gun? Please explain to me why you want to go back to the place you just robbed for your weapon. He went back there and whooped the clerk's ass, I guess, back in the back and got his gun back. 
can't pick my gun. Though the slippery-fingered fugitive escapes with his shotgun, the surveillance video and fingerprint analysis lead police to his home two days later, where he's apprehended in his underpants. This is perfect. He's probably taking a nap. Where you're going for the next 10 years, you're not going to probably be wearing your pants half the time, so might as well get head start. Oh, man. Police in Ohio have pulled over a driver suspected of DUI. How much you had to drink? None. Nothing at all? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah, yeah, I can tell that. And despite his good excuse... I'm good because... You arrested know, for DUI? Yes, I am. Oh, man. Officers bring him back to the station for further evaluation. Man, you got all kinds of warrants. You got six from Willard for, for DUIs. How do you get six DUIs? That's what I don't understand. A, don't you lose your license, and B, don't you realize, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't drink and drive. Realizing he's in some trouble, the repeat offender uses his phone call to reach out to a loved one. I love you. You have a good life. You hear what I'm saying? He calls up the girlfriend and is like screaming at her like it's her fault. You're charging me with another felony DUI. Got another felony DUI. Yeah, you got five others. This is no big deal. I need you to come get me right now. Listen. I'm playing bridge with the girls. When the dial for help backfires, the perp lashes out. I'm getting it right now. Listen to what I got to say. Oh, you bitch. Get the f out. Nigga, I'm you. Shoot me. Get her down. I got a hard time. Get out. Get her down. Shoot me. Sit down. Shoot it. Sit down or you're getting paid. Shoot it. They say, sit down, or we're going to have to tase you. The cop must have said this five times. I would have just tased him. Don't pick a fight in handcuffs. You are chained to a bench. You are going to lose that fight. Here we go. Sit down. Sit. Okay. 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 The peppered perp is charged with DUI, driving on a suspended license, disorderly conduct, speeding, and not being very nice to his girlfriend. I love you. You have a good fight. Oklahoma police are in pursuit of a red pickup truck. In a last ditch effort to escape, the driver pulls ahead. Put your seatbelt on, he's speeding up. They're gonna run from us. Yeah, they're running from us. Get out of the car now! You've got cops chasing you in a high speed chase now. They don't take kindly to that. At this point, the driver's best hope for leniency is immediate and complete cooperation. Get out with your hands up! I'm out. Wow. Get out through the window, buddy. Out this hey, way. Let me, let me... Get out through the window. Get your ass out of here. In the oh. way. And this guy wants to stay in his truck, I tell you. <laughs> I just like the way he flew out the window and landed on his face. That was great. Looked like Superman coming out the window. You know that guy lost a tooth, too. They really extracted him, man. It was like watching a pony be born, you know? They, they ripped him. They just grabbed him and threw him down face first. After eating asphalt, the ornery driver is a model of contrition and regret. Man, that's called commitment to your hatred. Even though you get your face pile-drived into the asphalt, you're still willing to spew venom. And look what it gets you. Nothing but a flat face and handcuffs. I'll be at ball. Get back and shut up. The driver is taken into custody and finally offers an olive branch to the police. Coming up, 19 moments down, only one to go. Find out who tops the list when the world's dumbest criminals continues. A daring daylight robbery at a TCF bank in Chicago nets 81,000 in cash. Police have no reliable witnesses and no leads in the case. 
After three weeks, the case remained unsolved. Then, shock jocks at KISS FM field a phone call during their on-air confession show. Hello? Hello, D. Good morning. What's going on with you, man? What up? So your friends <laughs> robbed the TCF bank. That's right. You are dumb as a box of hair. We knew the girl that worked in the bank. If you want to rob a bank, you need somebody on the inside. So we set everything up. We planned it out. So it worked. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Everybody got 18 grand. Wow. Holy cow. This guy was so happy that he pulled this off. He just couldn't keep it to himself. Once you get away, well, what fun is that when nobody knows about it? Nobody knows I got away with robbing the bank for $81 million. I got to tell somebody, oh, well, let me call the local news station. <laughs> Everything wouldn't follow me because I really didn't do nothing. I, was, I provided the car. My guy was outside. They walked out with their bags. Looked like little school kids. Hop in the car, we rolled up. This guy talked and bragged forever. So you spent all the money. Oh, yeah, it's all gone. I got to spend real quick. Did you guys have a plan B? A plan B, like if he would have got caught? Yeah. Run like hell. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you know what plan C should be? Shut the hell up. <laughs> All right, D, thank you for talking to us. No problem, Okay, that's, that's crazy. What do you wake up in the morning and you're like, you know what, guys, Let me. I'm going to call the radio station and tell them how we robbed the bag. Is there technology to trace calls? No. It just so happened that an FBI agent heard the conversation that morning, went to the radio station, and traced the cell phone call to Randy D. Washington. Not all the bank robbers that we apprehend are, are the smartest uh, criminals in the uh, in the world. D and his partners in crime were quickly rounded up and thrown into the slammer, where they regaled their cellmates with tales of their astonishing stupidity. Your dumbass just gave everybody up. Now you're going to jail. Bank robbery. Five years. Easy. What a dummy. Now, what are you going to be doing? Uh, well, I would normally, whatever you, I'm here to kind of guide you and help you and talk about it with you, and but you can, you know, just here to help you. I'm sorry, Austin's not here, with all due respect. <laughs> Why did you choose these? The these, are, these are bad. Executives chose the lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're writing this <laughs> It's just kind of wrong. <laughs> it's exactly right. So you want to start with the, the barbecued leg smoker? <laughs> uh, been run over by a truck. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do you mind, like, you can look down all you want, please read, and 